begin to understand the effects of the fall, we don't have to wonder, how do we get, how do we get here? We can see clearly how we got here. Mankind continues to choose independence from God instead of dependence on God. We choose to do what's right in our eyes instead of what's right in God's eyes. We choose to listen to voices of deception instead of listen to the voice of truth. It's what happened in the fall narrative, in the Eden narrative. And man and woman who are uh, given entry into God's ideal are evicted from God's ideal in the fall. So the Lord spoke to the serpent, um, cursed are you among all the animals of the field. Uh, He spoke to the woman, um, I will create uh, grief in your conception. Kind of a different grasp of that, we looked at that. Um, And to man, he says, cursed is the ground. He didn't curse the man or the woman. He cursed the serpent, he cursed the ground. And we experience the effects because curse is all around us. Uh, Cursed is the ground because of you, Adam, um, through painful, it's a bone, same word as the woman would have in conception. It's a bone. In painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. So here's here's the, the deal with this little word, it's a bone. It's really translated, when one looks at it throughout the Hebrew Bible, it's dominantly translated as emotional anxiety, grief, sorrow from, um, stress and distress. Um, and it is distressing. It's, there is the sweat of the brow. There is painful labor, but there's going to be, there's going to be, there's going to be a sweat of the brow in just good labor. Uh, it's how our bodies were made, but this anxiety producing stress over just surviving, just getting food. Um, it's a battle for survival is the effect of the fall. Instead of flourish in the garden where there was an abundance of fruit that you just picked off a tree, you just picked it off and enjoyed it. Now there's this turmoil and stress and anxiety and painful labor uh, in order to just survive, just to get sustenance. This battle goes on today. There is power struggle over food and necessities. There is the hoarding of the rich and um, the neglect of the poor. And what does God speak to that? God says he has this compassion for the poor, for those who are hungry, those who are starving, those who are thirsty. God's desire is that in the reversal of the fall um, is for us, the church, to be the place that comes and meets the needs of those who do not have the ability to survive on their own. Um, When Jesus spoke in the Sermon on the Mount and he said, do not be anxious about what you will eat or drink or what you will wear. He's saying, don't be anxious about your survival. Your father who made the birds of the air um, also made you. And if he values the birds of the air, how much more doesn't he value you? And then in Matthew 6, 33, he says, but seek first my kingdom. Seek first Eden. Seek first my paradise. Seek first communion with me, heaven on earth. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. And all these things for survival, they will be added to you as well. You see, we are, when we walk, walk in that pattern, when we stay in fellowship, in sync with him, um, in, in communion with God, abiding in Christ. When you and I do that in the body of Christ, we become those that bring, begin the reversal of the fall. It's the purpose for the church, to bring salvation to those that need him, to recognize that anyone can be of the seed of the woman. We can be born into relationship with God. Anyone can can defeat the battle of the sexes. Anyone can win the battle for survival and also help others find survival in the kingdom of God. It's part of who we are. It's the Bible's unified story that leads to Jesus. 
Lord God, we want to thank you that you love us. And that when you, you save us, you didn't save us to sit and soak in Eden, but you've saved us to go out and be ambassadors uh, of Eden, ambassadors of your kingdom, your purposes, um, your love, your kindness, your compassion. So Lord, enable us as we look around our broken world today and we see the consequences of sin. Lord, enable us to be people that understand we are called to partner with you, to be partners in bringing um, food and drink and light and life to those around us. In Jesus' name, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.